Welcome back to the Electro Deli. Today's delicacy is chips. But not just any old chips like this one, the 68B09 from 1989, the design that was done in the late 70s, uh, an 8-bit microcomputer processor chip. Very nice, very widely used in all sorts of pinball machines, video games, even some HP test instruments and of course a chip like this is in the Dragon 32, in the Vectrex video game console and also in the TRS-80 color computer. This is what most 8-bit CPU chips look like. A black plastic package, number on the top, 40 pins. All good standard stuff. But the earlier ones, this is a quite late example, the earlier ones look like this. This is date coded 1977, 7705 there. This is a 6820 parallel I.O. port chip. And look at that package. This is a delicacy, isn't it? Gold-plated ceramic. A little bit of dirt got on the pins there from where the, uh, the black foam has uh, stuck to the pins, unfortunately. Where's that 6809 chip? There it is. This is the 6809 date coded 8005, 1980, week 5. So a fairly early one in the manufacturing run of these things. A 6809 um, design, I think, was done in the late 70s. And I think early early chips would be made in, 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 in 78, 79. Uh, this one's 1980. Again, it's lovely purplish ceramic, gold-plated metal lid over the chip itself there's a, a trace coming along here for earthing that top uh, lid getting it to ground underneath there's the pins again a little bit of grubbiness on there from the, the black firm it was stored in but isn't that a nice package and this is typical of um, a chip which is in the early stages of its manufacturing cycle uh, it'll be made in in a ceramic package uh, the ceramic here it's it's something like china or pottery almost glass-like so it's a good insulator uh, it's a hard material it's got good thermal properties for getting the heat out of the chip and with the cover brazed on it's not soldered but brazed usually um, the thing is very well sealed against uh, any environmental dirt getting in. So that, that's why they did them this way. They were a, a high quality package. They cost more. They cost much more to make the package than the standard uh, moulded epoxy that we're familiar with today. All sorts of chips were made in this form. Here's one in white ceramic. This is an 8080. This is an Intel 8080 part. Uh, I can't make out the date code on that one. Um... The I there for Intel, again, white ceramic, gold-plated lid underneath. What have we got? Again, made in Malaysia. There's a date code, uh, 7606, so that's week 6 of 1976. Gold-plated pins brazed onto the side of the package. Now, it wasn't just um, microprocessor chips, of course. We've seen a parallel port. Um, here is a 28-pin package. Uh, the 6854, I think that's a communications chip of some kind. You can see the chips brazed onto the side of the package there. Again, there's a little gold trace for grounding that lid. Um, what have we got here? That one. Uh, let's see if we can get to focus a bit closer. This one is a Texas uh, TMS 2150, 1982, week 4. I think this is a memory. Um, look that one up. Slim little ceramic package there, all gold plated all over. Fantastic. This is the the quality stuff, isn't it? Um, the really expensive stuff. This is an HS nine three four two B. Um, this isn't even a single chip in a package. This is actually a hybrid. 
there are four chips inside here, plus all sorts of associated components wired up with bond wires under that gold lid. The actual body of the package is still ceramic and the pins are braced on the side in the same way. But this is actually four 12-bit digital to analog converters in a package. And under that lid, which is, I mean, you can get it to ting slightly. It's, it, it, the whole thing is hollow underneath. Um, there are four chips in here, plus bond wires and all sorts of associated components. Data sheet shows a picture of that. Um, so this thing is a hybrid module containing four digital to analog converters. And finally, just because I happen to have one, here is a... 68,000. This is a 1991 example of the 68,000, again in a ceramic package. This particular one, though, is pin grid. So rather than having pins on the side of the package, it's got round pins, and they are all over the bottom of the package. A very expensive package to manufacture, and so it was really used to get the size of the package down the 68000 was well known for being a 64 pin dill package huge great uh, chip and that makes your pcb larger makes your overall circuit larger by using a pin grid array you can make the thing a little bit smaller and you can get the size of the package more closely to the size of the chip the chip is inside this lid and the overall package is not that much bigger for the standards of the day. If this was in a, a, a dual inline package, a dill package, there'd be the chip in the middle and there'd be a great long ceramic package with pins on each side. I'll do another video just on the 68,000, I think. Anyway, there we have it. That's the uh, delicacy for today, the microprocessor chip in the ceramic package. Today's delicacy on Electro Deli.